Hey guys, it's been about a week since the Murphy set. Let's go check in with Randy. Hey Randy, how'd the Murphy set go? Hey Ellie. Um, <laughs> great, actually. It was a two mod um, with a bunch of roof panels and some steel columns and whatnot going on. Yeah, the whole thing went really, really good. We'll just do our normal follow-up as it gets finished out by the general contractor, answer any questions, but uh, they should be moved into that thing within six weeks. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty good one. Pretty quick, quick one to get buttoned up. So it looks like we're gonna get a little bit lucky with the uh, weather on this one. Uh, it's been hotter than heck up here, but we're up here in Mountain Ranch today, uh, this morning, setting a, a fairly simple little two-piece uh, project. We're gonna be dropping in some steel columns, and then we're gonna also be setting some roof panels to create the overhang, like a porch area going on around this project. So yeah, this one should go. It's like a one-day deal for us. It's, we've already got the first mod in place. There's a smaller second one that's gonna get set up behind it. So you can see here, this is the, the second box that's gonna be getting picked up and drop right in next to the to the larger box that we have um, but as you can see we've got the roof panels all wrapped weather protected for transportation Sand sandwiched in between there is the steel columns that we're going to be using to to hold up those porch panels that go around the building so just got to think through some of those things for shipping transportation how are we going to get it there uh, trying to make the best use of the factory as you can uh, you know we could have the steel columns show up here on site later the gc could take care of that but again one of the things we want to try to do is make it quick easy efficient for everybody on site when we deliver the project so anytime we can deliver the columns with the project it just makes sense to do so so here again we've got a project because it's fairly um, it's designed factory friendly to where we can actually do the siting uh, this particular client wanted to go with a weathering steel product uh, horizontal panels that were installed at the factory. Uh, you can see where some moisture has already hit it. Um, in this little area right here in the factory, uh, we had this shipped, so it got a little bit of moisture from the outside before we could get it in the building to get it installed, which is no problem because eventually this type of siding, when it hits with the rain and the moisture, the entire building is going to basically look like it's rusting out. Um, it's not a bad thing, that's actually how it's supposed to be. That's the type of look and uh, system that, that is put into this type of a project. So yeah, just another one of those things that's kind of nice to do at the factory anytime the, the architects and the team can design it to where we can install the siding at the factory, we definitely really want to do that. It just seems like more often than not our projects are so much larger, there's so many more boxes, there's so many more vertical and horizontal mod lines that it just makes it really challenging to, to install siding. Uh, and then also, you know, there's, in a lot of cases, they're doing stucco down in California where, the, where a lot of these projects go. So we're not gonna install stucco in the factory. Uh, it's, it's just highly likely gonna crack and have problems during transportation when it gets there. But again, the biggest factor is when you have uh, multiple mod lines throughout a project, it just doesn't, you have to leave so much siding off, it just doesn't make sense to do the siding in the factory. But for this one, we can do it. So it's gonna turn out great. So I guess this, this is that moment where we wanna make sure that this actually works. Founda foundation guy puts the bolts in. We bring the steel columns all the way from the factory. Just like that. It's all just part of the process, trying to coordinate and organize everything here locally with, with the factory, getting the, the bolts poured in the right spot, getting the columns made right. We'll get all these columns staged and put in, and then we'll start putting roof panels on. So here's another one of the roof panels that's being brought over off of the truck, the trailer. Um, another really nice thing, advantage of modular homes getting built in a factory is building panelized types of systems to make it, again, a little bit quicker and more efficient at the fact, uh, on the site when we deliver the project. So we've got the steel columns in place, um, bringing in one of the roof panels. Um, I mean, we even go as to far, so far as to prepare the roof panels with the screws already attached into, it, into the panel. Uh, so along that far back edge, the screws are all sitting there just waiting for a guy to jump up on a ladder and just drive them into the house. Uh, any little thing we can do like that that just saves a little bit of time on the site is just, it's a huge benefit. I want to talk about something that we just don't really ever talk about and that's the, the support that we 
The support that we try to give to the site when we deliver our modular projects, I mean, this guy, Curtis Dawn, he's our production manager, project manager. Um, he's the guy. I mean, my job is to get a project into the factory, get something to get built, keep our employees moving, and hopefully make the owners of Elevate happy. Um, I can't do it without Curtis. He's incredible, such a hard worker, I'm extremely computer literate, which is very helpful when you're trying to figure out lengths of steel columns and where, you know, bolts need to go and fasteners and structural hardware and all that kind of stuff. So Curtis comes along on every one of these projects. We often bring maybe one or two other employees as well just to support him so that he's not killing himself running up and down ladders. But I mean, as you can see, he's always hands-on, uh, working with the general contractor, working with the set crew, whatever it takes to get the job done. So that was the first of like four projects we're trying to get out in the next couple weeks here? Yeah, um, we've been really busy. So we, we do have four projects that we've been getting wrapped up. Um, the first one that we just returned from was Harbin Hot Springs, um, which that was a, a great project. Um, and now we just finished um, wrapping up the one in Murphy's that we just set. Um, it's actually in Mountain Ranch. Murphy's is the town real close to that uh, location that we stayed at. This coming Saturday, we're actually shipping out another four mod project. It has a couple roof panels that are with it as well. That's the one going to Bear Valley. So next week, that's where we're going to be on site, uh, getting, getting that project set up in Bear Valley. And then in about a month, we're shipping the Napa project. That's the last project this year. Yes, that's the fourth one that we'll get it shipped out here in the next three to four weeks, going to Napa Valley down there. Um, again, that's a great project. Um, lots of mods on that. Uh, really looking forward to getting that one shipped. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, and then we're going to hit the reset button and we've got three more of them lined up. Um, right after we get that one shipped, we're going to start framing one that goes down to Belvedere, California, and then a couple more after that. So it sounds like we've got some exciting things coming. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll keep you updated. Thanks for following along.